everyone, this is Denise Coyasso. I'm the author of Thriving in the Fight, a survival manual for Latinos on the front lines of change. And today I wanna to talk about how important it is for us as Latinas to name, notice, and disrupt the anti-blackness that exists in us, in our families, in our institutions, in our communities. Today, again, we hear these words, I can't breathe. Today, we mourn the loss of our brother, George Floyd. And as Latinas, sometimes we stay, we lean back in these moments. And I just want to encourage you that we need to lean in. We need to uh, act. We cannot sit back and watch what's happening while our brothers and sisters are being shot down and killed in the streets. If you are Latino or Latina, you have experienced anti-blackness. You have experienced the colonized thinking that was brought to us from Europe by the Spaniards who were the agents of Europe. You have been taught to approximate whiteness. You've been taught to hate your own curls or your own features or your own body. I have too. And at this moment, it's extremely important for us to lean in and to lean forward and to reach out, do something, whatever it is that you can do. My dad used to tell me, do something even if it's wrong. At this moment, what are we doing as Latinas to step up alongside our brothers and sisters who are hurting right now? Whether you're light-skinned like me or you're Afro-Boricua, Afro-Latina, Panameña, Colombiana, Brasilera, what are you doing right now? And if the answer is, I don't know what to do, then we need to figure it out. In my book, I talk about we can't wish, wonder, and wait. We need to lead into our vision, our vision for a different kind of future in which all of our children can run around safe and free. We need to live into our fullest selves and we need to push our comfort limits and figure out how we show up in this moment. And we're all on a learning curve. And finally, we need to love past the hate. We are known, in fact, if you Google search Latina women, it's all about our love and our sexuality and our ability and, and what it takes for a, a man to date a Latina woman. But we are about love. And at this moment, I encourage us to show our love and to remember George Floyd, but not just George Floyd, but the entire system that is dirty and we are complicit as long as we comply with what is happening right now as long as we stay silent it will continue and this system is setting us up to be at odds with one another i encourage us as latinas we hold the keys in our hand to build real loving authentic relationships across many different lines and i encourage you my sister my sister i'm begging you and pleading you to please please lean in and think what it what it's like think about mr george floyd and what his last moments were while people stood around and watched thank you